School teachers and students continue to move classes online during the coronavirus crisis, but it's not easy. In some cases, uh, children live in a location where there is no access to internet. Uh, they could not have it in their home if their parents or families were so inclined. Virginia Representative Abigail Spamberger says teachers have run into their own issues, and Virginia Representative Don Beyer agrees. It's one thing to have kids in the classroom. It's another thing to essentially individualize lesson plans for every one of the 30 children that you're responsible for. The National Education Association says 10 to 25 percent of students in a community do not have access to tools like broadband and the basic computer technology they need to learn. Our students have very different experiences with access and opportunity depending on their zip code. National Education Association Vice President Lily Garcia says teachers and students across the country are adjusting, but they need more support. Pennsylvania Congressman Glenn Thompson says the $2 trillion coronavirus relief law was a step in the right direction. As a part of the CARES package, we did uh, include signi a significant, large, uh, a large amount of money actually for, for continued investment and connectivity. But teachers and students argue they need even more help to keep kids in class while they're stuck at home. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.